Well, this is our street. Holy moly. So Jess and I woke up on Saturday to a river on our street. Overnight, the water had gone over the whole street and come all the way down because a drain had blocked up on the hill, a culvert. That culvert blocked and then the water just spilled up onto the streets and all the way down through the neighborhood. Now if you've seen the news, you'll probably know that the damage has been way more extensive than that. All throughout Nelson, houses have been slipping down hills, people have lost their houses, you know, mud's been flowing right through their houses. There's whole sections of Nelson that you can't even go to because the damage is so bad. So I'd already been getting messages from people watching the channel and friends and family, and up until Saturday morning, it was, we were like you, we were just watching it on the news. And then Saturday morning, it felt like, oh wow, our f house is about to flood. We kept an eye on the water, and as we were packing, the water just subsided and drained away. Now, it's just mud patches everywhere and a little bit dirty, but at least our house didn't flood. Hey, Brad. Hey, how's it? Good. Looks like you're getting ready to finish up. <clears throat> yeah, it's a lot of dust. Brad from uh, Pierce Plastering just finished plastering this room. And now it's ready to paint. You only ever bring the camera like this when you've got something bad to so. say. I'm just seeing how you are. Okay. As we pull our house apart, we're pulling out more and more materials. We have stuff in the garage that was wall framing. We have old wardrobe doors leaning against the plasterboard. And of course we have this carport that has been an impromptu storage area and a not very organized one. And before we actually organize it, I'm gonna use some of the materials that we have accumulated. What do you got here? Some green smoothies. What are they made from? The color green. Just drink it. So Jess, mm. we have four doors here. Two of them are clearly more sun damaged than the other two. Mm. Our only consideration is really which veneer do we like the Those most. Those ones. <laughs> it's got a little bit of damage, but let's be honest, we're gonna do far more damage to it. Yeah, and ultimately it's just an MDF veneer timber temporary table. So what Jess and I have is apartment furniture. At the moment our dining room table is an 800 millimeter circle. So you can fit two people around the table fairly comfortably, but as soon as you add anybody else, it's a very uncomfortable. So the goal here isn't to build the world's best table. It's not even to build a good table. Jess and I just wanna have fun and build something. That's what it's gonna look like. We're effectively making this like a door, using strip supply rather than a whole sheet, trying to minimize that sagging. We've decided, after many deliberations, we'll pop this piece on top of this frame and yeah. maybe do a, do you call that a chamfer on the corner so it's not so obvious? And we're overlapping it like this rather than butting it because you get more glue area between that and that and it's a stronger, stronger join. But ultimately, we're taking a risk because it doesn't really matter if it doesn't work out. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's just a temporary table. Is that legal? Pick up a drill and not. Yes. <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> Just half trigger it. Don't go so hard. Yep, perfect. All right. That's harder than it looks.
Do you want to uh, glue that middle one again? The screw situation is not ideal. There's big holes and only 17mm ply to go into. So I got these ones. They've got a nice thick screw thread on it and the head of it is good for keeping that leg attached to the table. The only catch is we have to grind the screws short. Remember I mentioned sagging? How to prevent sagging? Well here's my secret weapon. It's a galvanized piece of steel. So this is like a three mil thick piece of galvanized steel. And I've got high tech glue. By mounting this to the plywood, the plywood is less likely to go like that. And if I do it on this one, this one, and that one, all of them together with the top on, on the surface, I'm hoping will reduce the chance of sagging. I feel like then that knot in the middle will, will start looking like it's meant to be one knot. Ah, uh, okay. Well, uh, maybe not. <laughs> I need to appreciate that. It did. <laughs> right for a wardrobe door. I love it. I didn't think that it was a great idea to be honest. I didn't think it would do much but cool. All right the table's done. The table's done. Now we've got to get rid of this table here that was ideal for a one-bedroom apartment but not so ideal for a three-bedroom home where we want to invite people around to our house. Yeah this table's just always covered in stuff. We never actually eat at it. We just eat on the couch. <laughs> We'd like to eat at the table. <laughs> Right about there. Yeah. Alright. It's a little high. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing how such a small amount can actually make quite a difference. Or maybe I just never really thought about it before. I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's great. Just uh, don't zoom in on this joint here. Get out of here. Not bad, wardrobe door to dining room table.
this this was fun. Better than ever. I feel I feel better now than I did at the beginning of the week. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Mm. Me too. Hey. We came pretty close to fighting. Yeah. yeah. What about you? We had a creek that's about two metres out the back of our mm -hmm. house. Orphan is Creek got to about all oh, that close to going over the top. So Gosh. yeah, I had my torch out in the middle of the night looking out over the oh, <laughs> lake no. shore. But yeah, this is what it is. The houses one over got evacuated and we were told that if the water level was going to get any higher, they would have had to evacuate us because it would have just spilled over the street coming through come all these properties. Yeah. Um, fortunately, sure. It was fine. Yeah. Thank God. New glass. <laughs> How come I get the heavy one, Scott? <laughs> Here. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of this? We've made it ourselves. It's 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 pretty good. It's like you know probably a notch above IKEA. You know maybe <laughs> just below Kmart. Maybe somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Th thanks. Cheers, That's good. Thanks, That's, very yeah. good. Thanks a lot. We'll take so what's it. the next? What's the next project? We've double glazing. Double or, glazing into it. No, we've got a room to finish. The, oh. the reason we have a bed in here is because we haven't finished a room in there. Right. Oh, okay. In the next exciting episode of Scott Brown Carpentry, we need to get back into this room, so we need to paint. We were sent some colour samples from Dulux, so I think we'll hang them on the wall, see how they look in the different light. Now before we do all the exciting painting, I need to do the skirting, architraves, and I don't need to do the top because it's square stopped. Square stopped? Yeah. Square space? Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for you to build your online presence and run your business. If you have a business, you need a website. And building a website with Squarespace is super easy. You might be like me and run your own building business, or maybe you build furniture or have something to sell. Squarespace is a great platform for all of this. You can showcase your work using professional portfolio designs and display your work with their customizable galleries. The interface is easy to use. Images automatically scale to fit, so they always look good. And if you want to sell your art or creations, Squarespace has a great point of sale system. When we were doing renovations for clients up in Auckland, having a beautiful website that showed the previous renovations we had done was crucial. I kind of, I think of it kind of like a online business card, but you don't have to take my word for it. Squarespace also offer a free trial, so you have nothing to lose. And then once you're ready to launch your website, you can head to squarespace.com forward slash Scott Brown Carpentry to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks, Squarespace. Don't know why I did that. <laughs> <laughs>